Brutor created poker, yep. And chess, in fact. All right, so bottom left, we have uh, Hero there. In top right, we have Cure. And yeah, not sure exactly what this will end up looking like. Uh, is Hero going to play super aggressive? We shall see. Who's the barcode? It's Hero, dude. It's Hero. Yeah, well, devs had nothing to do with, with Brood War, guys. Like, they did not fund any tournaments. They didn't do anything, basically. They left it alone, and that's why it became so great. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we just wait a little bit. I guess I'll take this opportunity, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow the channel. I stream a lot. We're going to do some fun poker streams tomorrow and Brood War. After, this, uh, after the finals is done, we'll be playing a bunch of Brood War. I hope that the StarCraft 2 peeps stay around because Brood War is fucking great. And if you enjoy this game, you'll enjoy that game. Are the best players in StarCraft 2 now? Maru, I'm so cool. Sarah, Darty donated Rainer. three dollars. Can you imagine Sonic's dirty feet after running all day? Just imagine that Dude. moment after a full day of running where he finally takes his shoes off. Stinky. Imagine the heat they'd release. Imagine he takes his shoes off and releases those stinkers. Foot, foot, foot. Well, thank, thank you for that. Uh, I, I'd rather not imagine it. So, is this going to be a proxy Stargate? It looks like it. Yeah, that's going to be a Stargate. Um, yeah, we'll see if that Oracle can get in and actually do some damage. Come on, put it down. There you go. So, yeah, look at that coward. Um, the probe going to go back home. A everything looking nothing too crazy. Okay, so Kira is going three racks. Now, three racks, like, I think it's a good build to, to mix in. I'm not a big fan of three racks builds just in general. Uh, there's not a lot of nuance to just making a lot of units and then going across the map with them. Uh, I think Hero will know exactly how to play this situation. You have to kind of pin them for a little bit with the oracles. He might lay down some stasis wards. Uh, and, yeah, there it'll be a bit of a battle, right? Because Kira's going to have a lot of units, and then it should be higher tech from uh, from Hero, but less units. Natural habitat. It wants to stay on the grass. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, the additional gateway going up. Wait, is he going into only two gate with this? Hmm. I don't think that it's necessarily wrong, but I feel like you always go three gate blink after the oracle. Yeah, he is going to go three gate. Okay, third gate gets added. Here's the oracle. You don't want to engage four marines with that. Yeah, holy shit. Dude, that was crazy. Well, that did not go as planned. Um, he might need to be Mr. Stasis Ward this game. So, zero damage dealt with the proxy Stargate as of yet. He does have that proxy gateway, so he does have that warp in potential. But if that gets found, obviously that's a bit annoying uh, the earlier it's found. There's obviously not going to be any way to get in here and get damage at this point. But Kier knows you're there. He's got his good little groups of marines spread all over the place. Here comes Blink. So we're going to be on... F Are we on four gate now or three gate? Am I crazy? We're on four gay now, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. So, walking across with these stalkers, the thing is, like, your opponent's units here are just, there's so many more. He's going to offensively stasis ward, which, I mean, you're causing a little bit of lost mining time. They have to pull away. I almost feel like the danger of dying is too high, so you should be doing more defensive stasis wards. I think he probably does have one or two. Like, I see some dots, but I don't know if that's what those are. No, maybe that's a stalker. Anyways, the stalker count is kind of small. This is a big, big force coming across the map right now. 
Okay, that's an adept. Yeah, that's not going to do too much. Going to shade out of there. He just wants to see what's coming. More gates on the way. He's still sitting on two base. Yeah, look at that. Shield battery goes down instantly, man. So he's waiting for Stim to run out mostly. But this is a lot of damage already. So this is really, really good for Cure, I'd say. So nine probes going down. I think at this point, you're just looking to trade these out as best as you can. Some good blink micro. Hero definitely one of the best stalker micros of all time. And that was pretty damn well done. Didn't lose a single stalker. Look at that. God. Really, it's kind of funny. The uh, stalker micro, when you compare hero and parting to everyone else, it's not even close. The amount that they are better at microing stalkers is absurd. Speaking of which, I think the only perfect game ever played as in a pro level was from MC, where he literally lost zero things and beat somebody with an aggressive build. Uh, anyways, a blink forward here from Hero. Uh, just going to bust that down. The fact that he lost no stalkers really shining right now. My god. Now, medevacs are going to come out. Sea chanks are going to come out. This is unfortunate. Well, you can't save that one. At least he got to return five minerals to it before it went down. Uh, now, there is a seed shank here. So blinking on top of that's hard. He does, but the insta stem. So the marauders and marines are dealing lots of damage. You can see that stalker count falling dramatically. Was that worth it? Well, he got rid of all the marauders. He caused another stem. He got rid of the siege tank. It might be. Hero really has killer instinct, unlike anyone else. Even seeing the whole screen, I can't make the choices he makes. A nice little blink back there. 12 SCVs falling. So, Hero goes up in that worker count. Don't forget, Hero's on two base. Okay, he's pretty all in with this. No forge upgrades. Nothing really great going on for him. Blink Sword doesn't kill the tank. Wastes an entire volley on said tank after retargeting elsewhere. And suddenly, Cure takes a gigantic advantage from that. That was faulty. And this, this can happen when you're playing that aggressively. It's like you just keep going, keep going, keep going. Was it overconfidence? All right. A little bit of harassment continuing. He is warping in more stalkers. Dude, his army quality is so shit compared to Cure's. It's like crazy how much better Cure's army is right now. Cure has plus one, stim, combat shields, lots of marauders, tanks, medevacs. Like, are you kidding me? Right now, we just have four gate blink stalker warping in. He's trying to get charge at home with these unupgraded zealots. Like, dude, you have to really make magic happen here. David Blaine would lose this game. But not the guy from Magic with Humans. That guy would win this fucking game easily. And fucking Kira would clap and smile at the end. Okay, he's got, he's got his charge. Third Nexus is going now. And... Well, here comes the attack from Kira. Hmm. Now, okay, like a counterattack might be the only thing that could save him. Honestly. Like, if you can get Kira to turn around, that's the beginning of maybe being able to do something here. So he charges in. He actually targets down that mine. That's actually an amazing target. And he doesn't let the depot go up. Holy crap. Look at this. Kira has to come home. This is exactly the type of move that Hero needed to have any chance in this game. Now, I'm not saying that he has a chance still, but that force field is pretty sick. But the drop on top, he's going to end up losing these units. But kills 13 more SCVs. Yeah, he's going to kill more than natural, too. It's just his army size is going to be just so small. Look how small this army is. 66 against 22. Your opponent's not supposed to have three times as many units as you.
All right, little zealot counterattack. Dude, it, it, I love watching things like this because it's just like the level of understanding of hero is so, so high. It's like, he's like, yeah, the only thing I can do here is counterattack. There's just no way to fight this army straight up. So now he makes a million zealots. And he's like, all right, let's go. Let's see if we can get it done. He just targets at mine like crazy. Woo he gets both of them. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, the depots get up. He will take so much damage there. The splash from the siege tank is absolutely absurd. But look at this. Like, he's holding it well enough. And now Cure can actually attack Hero. So Hero's dead now. Hero's dead now. <coughs> Hero's last ditch effort. Doesn't have any vision of that high ground to blink up on the tank. GG. That was, uh... That was really fascinating. That was a fascinating game. The super aggro blinks on the tank and everything. And the thing is, he was playing against the three racks opener, and he went Oracle into, uh, you know, the, the three or four gate, and then the Oracle didn't do anything. Didn't get any stasis words down or anything like that. Uh, wasn't able to buy any time, really, other than through counterattacking. Very aggressive, crazy counterattacks, uh, which did buy a lot of time. He did force Kira to turn around, because as soon as Kira could attack, the game is over. So anyways... Let's go ahead, jump into the next game. Game number two. Cure leads one to zero. Fatal Fury 85. Thank you for gifting five subs. Very much appreciate it. All right. So in the bottom right there, we had Cure. Top left, we've got Hero. Babylon is our map. Oh, that's interesting. Hero, Hero takes up Babylon. Hmm. Or maybe it was set before the match. I'm not actually sure. Anyways. Uh, what does Hero do here? You know, he went for that proxy Stargate previously. Uh, you know, tried to play with his super aggressive style, but Cure just kind of absorbed him. Now we wait a bit. Thank you guys for, for being here. Hope you're enjoying the games here tonight. This is going to be a very fast tournament. We're already in the semifinals. Uh... So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of brood war here tonight as well. I uh, hope you all stick around for that. Please do follow the channel, of course. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Probe coming up. It's gonna get a little tiny scout going on. The start of the zod. I think we'll see a cancel on that. I'd be surprised if he lets that Zealot finish. I think he just want to make the Nexus here. No, he's going to let the Zealot finish. That's interesting. Why is he getting that Zealot? Hmm. What is this Zealot going to do for him? Are you walking around? <laughs> Mapu. Uh, I guess you're trying to walk around where the Reaper is? Yeah, I don't know about this Zealot, though. Seriously, like, it doesn't make too much sense to me. Uh, Zealots in the beginning of the game are almost completely useless. Like, everything micros against them so easily. Like, look at this. Is, is that going to do something? I guess it keeps the Reaper away from his base at first? It's going to have to run to this tall grass and show his fanciest of micro... Yeah, Cure's too good, though. He knows how fast the Zealot is. You see Hero actually catch a lower-ranked players like this, where, like, they'll try to run in the grass, and the Zealot's already there. But, like, Cure knows. <laughs> I mean, if you play a lot of StarCraft, you should know exactly the Zealot speed and be able to get in front of where it's at. <laughs> so, anyways, this Adept goes up. The bunker's done. I'm sure he'll wall there so the Shade won't get in. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about the Zealot, guys. I don't like that one. I don't think that's a good play. Uh, anyways... 
Comes after this uh, adept now. The adept too afraid to turn around and fight. Knows he'll just die. Yeah, here we're getting out with that. Thank you, Mapu. And guys, you can follow Mapu as well. You can use the command Mapu in chat. Of course, I've hired Mapu for uh, observing here for these NA Open Cups. I hope that you are uh, enjoying them and enjoying his wonderful observing. Give him a follow. Give him some love. The greatest observer out there. Poor Mint. Now, uh, Hellion just kind of going around the side of the map. You know, it's not unlike Hero to throw something on the side. It could happen. <laughs> Jesus, he's my fucking billboard observer. Uh, now, <laughs> we have the uh, four stalkers coming over in the prism. This is always an interesting move when we see it. Uh, it's kind of rare to see this. It, it, like, normally you'll have blink and you'll start utilizing them in the prism. But to have it like this, it's like, well, he's just, he's going to micro them. And honestly, a prism blinks quicker than blink if you're good at it. And four stalkers, one shots SCD. So certainly there is some worthwhile harassment that can be done here. Look at that. Ooh, the mind drop, the mind drop. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, dude. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that mine hit. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. What? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, now... The stalker harassment continues. He's doing a very good job with it. It's just if that mine hit hadn't been so insane. Oh, God. Another really decent one there, too. Like, I mean, three mi three probes uh, with the mine that's kind of stuck over there is not bad. Now, coming across the map with his army. Uh, Hero does have a bigger army right now, but this is a pretty darn good setup. Even has uh, mana for an auto turret here. I mean, even he could armor shred. If you blink up, like, he could armor shred you. I actually wonder. Someone, I'm sure someone's done the math on uh, these various numbers of armor shred versus turret. Auto turret. Like, what's going to actually give you more damage according to the amount of units that you're playing against and uh, the amount of marines that you have. So definitely we're going to see Hero attack like crazy. Like he's pretty all in here. All right, coming forward. Blinks on top of the tank. He throws down two auto turrets, but there's no repair. And most of the units are in the main base. So not a very good situation here for Kira. I think Kira is very likely to be broken here. Lost a lot of his high quality units there, unfortunately. He gets another huge warp in as well. These units really getting a bit out of hand. My god, that is a lot of damage on the side of his base. Don't forget, though, he only has Stalkers here. All right, very important thing. Now, he's going after the Command Center. Gets lifted up. Oh, he actually doesn't go for the attack. Sometimes you dive underneath it. But here we go. Blinks forward. And I guess this should mostly decide it. Cure has enough. And Hero has to back up. So a lot of SCVs went down. But it's like 31 with mules is not that bad. It is not that bad. I don't know, man. I think Kira actually is going to take this. Looks that way to me because uh, Kira is going to just massively outscale him really soon. Like, Hero has to basically attack just like he did again or like Blink in the Main or something. But he has to get damage because there's no way in hell your unupgraded Blink Stalkers are going to beat what Kira is building towards at the moment. 
So it's a pretty bad situation. Now, a double mind drop coming as well. If he gets any probes with this, it's incredibly painful. Look at the production tabs. It's something we've talked about before. When one side is doing like one thing and one side is doing a bunch. Oh, Jesus. This game's done. Hero just has to attack. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. Just attack. Can't wait for charge. Just have those tank and let's go. And drops a couple up the ramp. So not a bad idea, but blinks in front of the other Zealots. Uh, so the other Zealots have a hard time getting up there and tanking and dealing their damage. So yeah, Kira's just going to take this two to zero. There's truly no comeback at this point. Psh. Oof. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> Kira's lost SCVs and stuff, but he's in such a better shape. Like, he's got three orbitals. So he's refilling his SCV count. He's dropping plenty of mules. Uh, he's still doing harassment. There's no units at home for Hero. He's, he's just so completely all in. And here comes the charge locks. I guess that's what he was waiting for this whole time. Seeing if he can get something done with that. Uh, I mean, I like the idea of the force fields. It does split things up. The units in the back no longer hitting his army. So he's able to pick off a little bit more. Getting rid of this turret. Trying to get rid of the command center. Even if he kills the orbital, there's another one. You know? Right now, Hero is on 17 workers, by the way. That's how much damage he's taken at home. The mines are still flying around doing their stuff. Oh, dude, are you actually kidding? He's down to 10 workers. And yeah, I think Kira will just GG. He's not winning this week. All right, Kira goes on to the finals. Well. Oof. Nah, it's not that he was mentally broken. He just he he was already being aggressive and he took a bunch of damage and you don't have any options after that.